Fading out audio tracks is one of the easiest and most powerful ways to add polish to your video. So today I'm going to show you three simple methods to do just that in Premiere Pro. See what I did there? There are three types of audio transitions in Premiere Pro. Constant gain increases or decreases volume at a steady rate. It's a bit more abrupt and isn't as smooth as the others, so it's used less often. Constant power creates a smooth fade by gradually lowering the volume, and this makes it one of the most commonly used transitions. Exponential fade starts slow and then fades quickly towards the end of the clip. This is ideal for a dramatic fade out and is often used in dialogue heavy sequences. To add any of these effects, open the effects panel. If it's not visible, go to window effects. Then navigate to audio transitions crossfade and you'll see the three transition options. Drag your preferred transitions onto the end of your audio clip. Then you can adjust the transition length by dragging the edges of the effect in the timeline. This is the quickest method for a basic fade out. To speed this up even further, you can use the keyboard shortcut of Shift and D. The second method is using visual fade handles, and this method is incredibly simple. Once your audio is in the timeline, look for the small handles at the top corners of your audio clip. To fade out the audio, just grab the handle at the end of the clip and drag it inward. The further you drag, the longer the fade will be. You can also change the rate of the fade by dragging the handle up or down. This method is great for making more precise adjustments without opening any panels like the effects controls. For the most precise control when fading your audio, you can use volume keyframes. Start by selecting the audio clip in your timeline, then open the effects controls panel. If you don't see it, you can find it under window effects controls. Find the volume property and click the stopwatch icon to set your first keyframe. Then move the playhead to where you want the fade to end and set another keyframe by reducing the volume to negative 60 decibels. You can adjust the length of the fade by dragging the keyframes. Alternatively, you can adjust keyframes directly in the timeline. To do this, right click the audio track and choose show clip keyframes, volume, level. You'll then see a thin white line appear on the audio clip and this represents the volume level. Now, hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac and click the line to add keyframes. Add one keyframe where you want the fade to start and another where you'd like it to end. You can also adjust the position of keyframes after they're created by dragging them along the clip. And there you have it, three methods for fading audio in Premiere Pro with increasing levels of control. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free music you can experiment with, plus 4K footage, templates, and more.